Okay, how to use the Tuttenauer 2540M or any M glass steam sterilizer. So, make sure you've got water in the chamber. I don't think you can tell, but enough to cover that coil. I guess the water over here. Uh, you're plugged in. You're on a good power source. This switch is up. This switch is in. There's all our knobs. Speed no pressure. Timer's down. We're in the off position. Power it up. Light. Power. We have power. No heat because we turn the heating on. We're not drying because we turn the drying on. Next, you need to open the door. You need to look in here. Yeah, I started this before I did the video. So there's a little water. Anyway, turn the fill water to fill water and watch it run. Once it gets to here, I'm gonna quickly close the door, start tightening, and then move the heat. But you could just move right to heat and then close the door. Anyway, bomb, 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 bomb. Make sure you're on a good level surface. Otherwise, you will get too much water. Go. Close. Close the grips. Alright, turn the heat up. Make sure it's close tight. Don't go crazy. One hand in this thing. Alright. Now, in order to heat up, we need a timer. I don't know how long it's going to take. Just at the 30. Heat. Watch this. Technically, you can walk away for like 10 minutes. It's going to take a while to heat up. We're on a cold start. From a hot start, it's going to heat up quicker. That should be obvious. Anyway, so what we're looking for here is when we're getting up close to our 30, we want to be sitting here in front of this because that is our goal. When we reach that, we'll be in sterilizer ready, and that's when you're going to set your move your timer to whatever sterilization time you need. Okay, heat up time and sterilization time are two different things. On a manual, it's one, one position you're going to for both. But once we're up there, you don't want to sterilize them for too long, for too long or too short. The instruments you're putting in here come with an IFU, instructions for use. It specifically tells you what type of sterilizer you can use, steam, ethylene oxide, uh, pre-vac, gravity, etc., etc. et cetera. Um, what temperature to be at and how long. Right, so our cycle is running. Timer's still going. It's not really doing anything, it's just giving us power. So we're gonna see that sterilizer mode, that desired temperature. We're heating up. No water leaks, no steam leaks. Do I guess it's good? I replaced it. Over the back here, no leaks. Everything's looking good. Gotta tighten that screw. And there we are. We're now at our desired temperature pressure. On a five minute cycle. Yeah, it's an analog, so you gotta guesstimate it. But there's your five. There's still heating. Notice the heat light is off because the way it works to keep it at a set temperature, the temperature setting there you go, is cycling. So when it reaches temperature, it turns off. When it says, goes below a certain point, it turns back on. When it reaches up to a certain point, it turns off. It just cycles back and forth like that. That's how this works. So now, all I gotta do. I'll make sure there's no leaks. I should have a gauge tied in up here. It's a manual, so I don't have a pressure gauge to put on there. But, I don't have a digital one. So I should have a manual gauge on there to verify this is accurate. I've already done that, because this video is just a repeat. Anyway, that's it. We'll let it finish running. When the timer finishes, that means I've run my five minutes. I'll manually move this to exhaust dry. Steam will come out, it'll exhaust. And when it tells me there's no pressure, I can open the door. I should not be able to manually open the door. You see, I cannot move this. That's what the door bellows does. It's a hole in the door. And I can show you that. This guy right here. So as steam pressure is pushing in there, it's pushing this pin out into the handle. Right, you from turning it. 